hello guys welcome back so in this video I'm going to talk about webdriver manager which is used to manage a browser executables effectively in selenium webdriver uh, so meanwhile if you are not subscribed to my youtube channel uh, you can find it on youtube.com slash automation talks you can consider subscribing uh, now let's go ahead and start okay so we all know selenium webdriver uh, it's a automation tool is mainly useful basically to run the test case against multiple browsers uh, could be my selenium uh, sorry a chrome browser could be firefox browser internet explorer or could be any browser opera or whatever safari you are using okay so that's what the main objective of selenium webdriver is it's a cross browser testing right so my aim is to execute the same test case in multiple browsers right now uh, to execute the test case okay so let me go to one of the projects so i have created this project okay so in this project let me create one class quickly and i'll call, call this class as uh, demo test okay so fine so in this uh, let me add a main method i don't want to use test ng as of now okay and uh, give me a second let me add main method fine now if i want if i want to execute okay so before that let me add a selenium dependency quickly give me a second guys okay let me go to pom.xml quickly and add the dependency here the dependency will get added meanwhile now if i want to let us say i want to execute my test case on uh, three different browser which is my chrome browser firefox and ie browser okay so if you want to execute a test cases in all three different browser what you need is you need a uh, browser executables right so it's like when we write something like web driver driver is equal to new let me import let it download it is still building the workspace okay so what and all i'm going to talk in this uh, video is i'm going to talk about what is web driver manager so as i said it is used to manage the browser executables very effectively okay which uh, we used basically when we talk about when we do cross browser testing then why we need web driver manager and how basically we can use this web driver manager what are the advantages of using it okay so let's see okay so let me import Fine, web driver driver is equal to new uh, so if I want to use Firefox driver then I use something like this web driver driver is equal to new Firefox driver right but uh, we like it will work if you are using uh, selenium version prior uh, 3 okay if you are using any version of selenium 2 then it will work right but if you are using selenium version 3.0 onwards then what you need is you need gecko driver gecko driver executable right so what we need to do is basically uh, if you want to execute any test cases in firefox browser then what you will do is you will first download this gecko driver from internet gecko driver.exe which is a firefox driver executable and then you will do something like system dot set property right and then here you will add some property like webdriver.gecko 
dot driver and then in the value you will add the actual location where your driver executable is so it will be like somewhere in my downloads uh, followed by a uh, gecko driver dot exe right so what you will do is basically you will download this gecko driver dot exe and then you will give the reference of that particular executable to this particular parameter which is web driver dot gecko dot driver if you want to work on mozilla firefox right and then you will use this thing web driver driver is equal to new firefox driver right so what is the challenge the challenge is to maintain the versions of this gecko driver dot exe right so this is the case when you want to use mozilla firefox but when you want to use the chrome browser right so before you use web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver you need to set something like this web driver System dot set property web driver dot chrome dot driver and here you need to set the driver for chrome right so what you need to do is you need to go to the uh, URL which is in chromium I believe and then download chrome driver dot exe from there right and then give the reference of that chrome driver dot exe to this particular uh, variable web driver dot chrome dot driver right which will be set into the system right and then you can use something like this. web driver driver one is equal to new chrome driver something like this and then you are good to use chrome driver but again the challenge here is you need to download the chrome driver dot exe and then you need to ref maintain it somewhere in your project and then you can refer it you need to refer it the problem here it would be uh, when there is upgrade in this particular executable driver let us say there is some upgrade in this gecko driver.exe version then you need to get the latest version of gecko driver.exe which is compatible to your browser and then refer it right so you need to you need to have that particular uh, keep watching basically right now to overcome this problem that is downloading this gecko driver.exe or chrome driver.exe or whatever drivers whatever browsers you are using if you are using i internet explorer then you 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 would be using ie driver.exe and for we have all the executables for uh, all the drivers right so if you go to selenium hq under downloads page you should see list of all the uh, executables over here mozilla gecko driver chrome driver opera driver ace driver ghost driver and all this stuff right so you will so what you need to do is if you are not using this web driver manager you need to download the executable from here and then get it uh, into your system using system dot set property now to avoid these thing the challenges what i just spoke we will be using something called as web driver manager class okay and this web driver manager class uh, to, to to get this web driver manager class basically we need to get some dependency which is present in maven and if i just search for web driver manager okay i should get some dependency called as web driver manager from this particular uh, artifact web driver manager from io.github.bonigarikia right so i'll get a uh, version I, I can get basically any version i'll get the latest version let us say uh 3.6 so i'll copy this and let me go to my form.xml and paste it over here okay now i'll get this uh web driver manager dependency into my project right and where i can get this dependency uh it would be in my uh, c drive in my users in my home in dot m2 folder basically it would be and if you go to repository and it is io slash github dot this bonigar is here right and web driver manager and 3.6 version and here you see all the uh, required executables got downloaded as soon as i add the dependency in form dot xml right so that's how now we don't need to use any uh, system dot set property and all those stuff right so what we need to do is we will be referring the class web driver manager basically okay so if i hit web driver m 
so you see the very first class webdriver manager which is coming from the package which we just downloaded webdriver manager okay and if you give dot after webdriver manager you see what on what and all drivers does it support so it supports chrome driver ace driver firefox driver then ie driver opera driver phantom js driver these many drivers as of now right so what and all main browsers we use we use chrome firefox and internet explorer right so what i am going to do is i am going to use chrome as of now okay so chrome followed by you will see some setup option here right so i'll just hit setup so that what will happen is it will do the setup for chrome driver and now i am good to use web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver right and now i am i can use driver dot get and the string where i want to navigate let us say i want to navigate to the same url right so what what should happen so this particular uh, three lines of code should open chrome chrome browser and should navigate to this particular url okay i'll execute it quickly okay so the first time it might be downloading the dependencies can you see it has opened the chrome browser and now it is navigating to mavenrepository.com the url which i have given right so this is how basically now here i didn't specified what version of chrome i am using so what happened is uh, this particular uh, class it has downloaded the required dependency for the version of um, chrome which i am using automatically right so we didn't have to take care of those stuff okay so that's how it works basically okay and if you want to work firefox browser or internet explorer browser then you can use something like uh, ie driver let us say web driver dot ie driver dot setup okay so that it will initialize the drivers it will get an initialize the drivers for your internet explorer browser okay and here we will be using new internet explorer driver okay so what will happen is this particular web driver manager class will go and check what version of internet explorer i'm using and it will download and use the required uh, browser executable uh, here okay so let me execute it quickly okay you can see it has opened internet explorer and now it will navigate to the url uh, since i am using it first time okay uh, what has happened unexpected error launching internet explorer the browser zoom level is 125 percent so that's the reason i got this particular error okay so since it was 125 percent let me make it 200 percent and let me execute again it should work okay can you see it is working now it is navigated to maven repository dot com url which i have given right so this is how basically we will be using web driver manager class to manage all these uh, dependencies required for browser executables okay and uh, the thing is like if you want to execute any specific type of version or any specific uh, architecture 32 bit or 62 bit then you must be having some option as arc 32 if you want to download 32 bit if you want to download 64 bit version then we should be using this uh, arc 64 right so this gives that much flexibility to us okay so what else 
Uh, okay, so I think that's uh, pretty much uh, I wanted to talk. So I have shown you like how you can use uh, a WebDriver Manager class to uh, set up the dependencies which are required for browser executables. Okay, so and if you want to get it for required architecture for 32-bit or for 64-bit, then you can get it. Even if you want the version, then you should be able to get the version if you supply the version. Uh, uh, Check where it is. Get versions, okay. And here you can get the, give the uh, particular version number, which version of browser executable which you want to download, okay. But I recommend uh, you to leave it as a blank because uh, what will happen is web driver manager will take care of the things. It will search the required uh, version and it will get the downloaded right so you need not to specify that but if you want specific then you have that option as well here you can use it right so that's pretty much about using web driver manager so we talked about why what is web driver manager so web driver manager is basically for managing the driver executables very effectively when we use selenium web driver project and why we use it basically to manage it sufficiently i need not to go and download all the executables then i need not to put it in my project uh, somewhere and refer it if there are any updates then i might need to go and update it so i don't want the those uh, all, all those stuff to do manually so web driver manager will take care of all the stuff right and we saw how web driver manager works so that's it thank you